Our next company is an example of ruthless focus, and not when you start your company, but maybe after you've been in business for a few years. A lot of companies start off and they go through several generations. Remember the Oldsmobile? In 1904, the guy who started the Oldsmobile, Random E. Olds, got tired of investor demands and left to start a new company called Rio. And when the car market softened, they started making other things like lawnmowers and a flatbed delivery truck and a fire engine called the Rio Speedwagon. Remember the 70s band? Well, they got their name from the Rio Speedwagon. He also started the town of Oldsmar, which is just north of here. By the 1950s, the company was near death. They had a small division called Nuclear Consultants. They changed the name to Nuclear Corporation of America. That didn't work. They moved to Phoenix and bought a steel joist maker named Volcraft. They went through a lot of stuff. They hired a guy in 62 named Ken Iverson. He was president, and he decided to make steel using the latest technology to build a steel company around technology. No one else had done that. He built new mini mills using new technology, and when the big steel companies went broke, Nucor was doing very well. Nucor was the first steel company designed to be based on constant upgrades on technology. That was their ruthless focus. By the way, headquarters staff at U.S. Steel numbers 1,200 and Nucor at 65. They turn out more steel than any of their rivals. They're based in Charlotte, North Carolina. They ruthlessly focus on technology, and they only have five rules. They don't have any big volumes to read when you join the company. And their five rules are know the job, ask questions and experiment, share what you learn, do what it takes to make sure something goes wrong only once, and let us know when we can help. They're amazingly successful. Let's take a quick look at several other companies that you know that have used Ruthless Focus to build a great business. Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Jack Taylor wanted to build a rental car company built on personal service as opposed to the norm which was short-term, airport-based operations. Enterprise was the company that would pick you up. And the strategy has been so successful, it is now larger than Hertz, Avis, National, and all the other airport boys. He thought it would be better to come to the customer rather than make the customer come to him. So he took a different strategy, an anti-industry strategy, and he stuck to it. Another interesting story, the body shop. How many of you are familiar with the body shop, based in England? Anita Roddick. She decided to create the first totally environmentally conscious skin care and lotion store. She went to South America and she found tribes who would create potions for her, knew how to do things with natural, natural essences, she traveled the world to locate unusual products, and she made deals with natives all over the world in exchange for money for their schools or food for their villages. She built a cult around the idea that the environment can produce the best skin products in the world if it's treated with respect. There are now over 2,000 stores, all built on the same strategy. How about Southwest Airlines? They're credited with inventing the low-cost and no-frills airline concept. The strategy was simple. Short haul, one kind of equipment, no assigned seats, low-cost, no food, the first low-cost airline. In other words, do the opposite of the big successful airlines at the time. Personally, I do not like Southwest. I think it's the way that prisoners should travel. <laughs> they line people up like cattle, and they forced them to fight for a seat. I was on a flight one time to West Palm Beach, and we were in the aisle, and a woman came around and jumped over three seats to get to a window. <laughs> but enough people like them, and it's worked very well. They know their customer. A great strategic idea in Southwest and Enterprise. Do the opposite of what everyone else is doing in your industry, but do it well. Ruthless Focus also works for nonprofit organizations. How about other organizations? 